smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Y Body uh, Part Three. I think it's Part Three. Um, really, really excited about this. I finally want to actually get the full, full shape. We uh, I had a little bit of filler yesterday, um, just to basically get the not fill a little bit more foam to get the shape that I want before I actually start using filler or anything like that. Um, so yeah. Right now I'm gonna be sanding my the rest of the wide body, hopefully just getting the shape that I want and making it look really, really clean. And at the same time, working at the Mustang, we're gonna be uh, filling in a couple more things uh, over the Bondo, and then hopefully we can start wrapping the car. So you guys have to stay tuned for that. A lot of things going on, wide body uh, you know, work, and the Mustang work. He's getting a new exhaust, a new wrap, a new everything. It's gonna be sick. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Uh, we went out to go sell something uh, for like a car part of ours and the guy ended up flaking. A lot of people end up flaking, they think it's cool. It's definitely not cool. Stop wasting people's times. Now, this I know this is kind of weird. It probably sound weird. A lot of you guys said that I should protect myself when I'm uh, sanding and stuff. So you know what, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't wanna die early, I wanna see my kids. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put this on. I'm gonna be uh, pretty much Taking off the zits off the wide body kit. All right, so so far we, uh, we used filler to patch up all the dents that's on the hood. Let me actually get this off for me real quick so I sound a little bit better. Um, so yeah, we used filler all the way around and then we used putty, putty? Pudding. Pudding uh, to cover up the rest of it. <laughs> to cover up the rest of it. Um, so pretty much it's looking good. We just gotta do the finishing touches, which is standing and then we're gonna start wrapping it. Alright guys, so at this point, uh, my, my cousin just finished putting all the filler and putty and all that stuff, the pudding, on the hood. Uh, basically got it super, super clean and flat and ready for paint. We're gonna paint the hood real quick. Really, really cheap paint. We don't really care. Mainly because we're just gonna wrap it because this is already a different color. The bumper is a different color. We're just gonna end up wrapping it all. Uh, but we, you know, we want just a base coat to make it flat. I just wanna see if it's flat before we start wrapping. And also, in the meantime, uh, I was working on this uh, quarter panel. The wide body, uh, I got it to where it's super, super flat. You guys can see the edges, and right there, super, super clean and flat. But it ended up being a little bit short. My brother wants it like right on the line, and I don't blame him, so I added up a little bit more. And that's a good thing about uh, using foam, is that you can always fix your mistakes and work on it the next day. All right, guys, so we finally got the car yep. on some blocks. We're cleaning it up right now. The hood, as you can tell, is pretty white. Um, it's not perfect, but you know, we did the best we could okay, as uh, non-professionals. Uh, we're getting the bottom done there for an angle. That's that, and we're getting the white up. wrap out that right here. What wrap is it? This is uh, pink. White throat. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pink by Avery. Best quality. Is it white pearl? You sure? White pearl satin. Where's the pearl? White pearl satin. I guess we'll see it when you actually put some white on it. Uh, Where's the pearl, Bobby? Yes. Yeah, so, I have no what idea. we do first? The side skirts? Fine. What are we wrapping exactly? The fenders. The fenders first. Alright, so we're gonna the fenders first. We might be the bumper, we'll see. I don't know, back to the Brahim. Needs to make sure this thing's perfect. Yeah, there's no time to Brahim, but I think this is just regular white. <laughs> you can see a little bit of its glossy. It's really helpful oh, put it on the car. It's gonna look pretty good. But, uh, yeah. Hello, happy duties. Welcome to my channel.
Oh, you make me wanna talk back Talk back to you Say you say you like you guys, so basically wrapped in the pearl white wrap right now. So you guys really can't tell the difference right there. But if you look like at the three, you know, the three tone, you can see that that's a lot whiter. That's ugly painted white. <laughs> and then that's the wrap white and that's just a black bumper. It's been pretty good. For some reason, after we wrapped it, we noticed a lot of dents there. So we put a little carbon fiber touch. We're probably, we're, we're going to see how it looks on both sides if it's kind of ugly. I don't know, because we could also just do a, a line like that. Oh, hold on. Don't most things have lines like this? No. Dude. We no, double layer. I'm not sure. Take you like a Nothing. Alright, so, if you guys look at it, I don't know if you guys can see it that well. That's all white now. That's got wrapped. And uh, that's also got wrapped. We have to do the hood later, the bumper. And uh, the rest of the car some other day. We're just trying to wait for the, the paint to cure on the bumper. So that's getting cured up right now. And then also, add a little bit to the bottom there. Because apparently, it's supposed to be curved in like that. You know I never will. No. So I choke you down just like a pill. The next day. Hey guys, welcome back to day three of this wide body video. I don't want to make a short, you know, half edited video of the wide body. I kind of want to finish the point to where, you know, I started this video. So this is part three, and I'm going to be actually trying to finish up the shape that I really, really, really want to get it ready um, for some Bondo and getting it to the actual, uh, you know, the the actual white body itself before I start wrapping a fiberglass and actually bolt it onto the car. So right now we're gonna try to flatten out all the corners and make it as beautiful as possible. So as you guys can see, the I'm getting the line that I want there, but I need to flatten this out a lot more. I added a little bit over there like last night because it didn't connect that evenly. Uh, I wanted to fix that. The top is pretty clean, comes around over here. That needs a little bit of work over there, but pretty fine. We got the back cut out. I had a little bit over here so we can fix that. And um, we got the little edge that goes around like this toward the wheel. So I gotta shave that off right there, but then we should be good to go. And uh, we might be able to actually take this off the car. We will see. Alright guys, so at this point, I did end up leaving and coming back because my face is a little bit cleaner than it was. I'm wearing the same clothes, I just got back and changed back into my clothes. Um, I got called by this dude that was selling a headlight for $600 and he told me, he's like, yo, I can do it for $550, that is the lowest. I was like, yo dude, if I'm going to quit what I'm doing right now to come to you, $500 bucks and I come get the headlight because it doesn't even come with the bracket, but it comes with the module and the bulbs. I was like, $500 bucks and I come right now. He said, $500, bucks, sure. Went down to him, picked up the headlight. It looks in pristine condition. We're going to go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. This is honestly the biggest thing that the, my brother needed to get his car running again and, you know, ready for brake and light inspection. Alright guys, so this is the end of the video. Um, I just realized as I was editing this video that I have no outro, so that really, really sucks, but whatever. 
Um, just to keep you guys updated, the white body is pretty much done. Just have to do some filler, some Bondo, and then wrap it with fiberglass. It's gonna be absolutely insane. It looks amazing. I can't believe that foam really turned into an actual piece. It's a piece of art. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, we'll see how that works out. Um, also, with my cousin's car turning out really, really sick, we're just waiting for the Bondo to cure, and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap the hood, wrap the bumper, wrap everything. It's gonna be super clean. I honestly cannot wait for everyone to start mobbing together. I have my friend that has got his G37 finally out of the shop. Everything is good on that. We're working on the Mustang. Cousin got a 350. I got a Beamer. My brother got a Beamer. The mob is going to be amazing. Again, guys, if you want to join the crew to when I start hosting these amazing car meets, make sure you get a decal down below. You see how I just plugged myself there? But anyways, yeah, I am very, very, very proud of my brother. He's been working really, really hard on his car. It's turning out sick. The headlight is working. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Um, once we get this headlight on there and uh, get the car registered, he should be able to drive his baby. Very, very excited. The next video, guys, is gonna be lit. So make sure you smash that like button and show your love in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy She got me saying, y'all love her, baby I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy You know, you're all